Okay, last time I talked about testing a hypothesis about two coefficient values and I talked about one example where we were interested in knowing the returns to education on junior college versus university and we hypothesize that the returns to education on junior college and university education are identical that is beta 1 coefficient is equal to beta 2 coefficient and as I said in my previous video it is not possible to test this type of hypothesis because of the difficulty of getting the covariance between beta 1 and beta 2 from the regression output. An alternative way of estimating a model like this is to introduce another parameter and tweak this model a little bit. Let's define theta 1 equals beta 1 minus beta 2 and we can test the hypothesis that theta 1 is 0 against h1 that theta 1 is negative. So see here if theta 1 is 0 then both beta 1 and beta 2 are identical and on the other hand if theta 1 is a negative number it means beta 2 is greater than beta 1 that is returns to university education are higher than the returns to education on junior college. This implies that beta 1 is equal to theta 1 plus. So we're going to plug in the value of beta 1 here. So we have our new model as beta 0 plus instead of beta 1 I'm going to plug in theta 1 plus beta 2 college plus university plus beta 3 experience. So this is our new model now. So we can simplify this model as all we have done here is we have introduced a new variable which is not very difficult to calculate all we have to do is add junior college and university. So now we will be testing hypothesis about this theta 1. So this is our null hypothesis and we can easily test this hypothesis using t-test. So that's how you test hypothesis about the equality of two parameters by manipulating your regression equation. In the next video I'm going to use the same example and I'm going to show you how to estimate this model in R. Alright see you in the next video. Bye bye.